Okay, so what I'm doing here is I want to keep the three prong end. I'm going to plug that into my surge suppressor. And then what I want are the exposed wires, the ground neutral and live wires right there that we're going to input into our power supply. Um, now it's best to start with the whatever length you can on this, so I'm going to snip it as much up near the part. Um, especially for testing and debugging, you never know how you'll have to stretch these things. Um, you could later then shorten this again by just doing the exact same process. So obviously we want to make sure our plug is not plugged in to anything, we're far away from anything. Um, you can just see I snipped that off. We can see the black, green, and white in there. The three separate wires. What we're going to do is kind of cut this housing down a little bit and expose some of these wires. Um, for that I'm going to use these nice clipped wires. Nice snippers. Um, you could also use sort of an exacto knife here to slice it down and open if you have one. Um, that's a little bit easier sometimes. Um, but usually once you get it going you can start to pull it open. Um, now you can see I hit a little bit of the copper wire, the black wire there. You want to avoid that if possible. We can snip this at the end, but and you'll see this probably has some shielding around it too, around the three wires. That's kind of the, the puffy pattern that you can see coming out. See, I can start to cut it down. You want to give yourself enough space to kind of work with. So I'm going to go ahead and cut down a pretty good amount, and then we can trim that as we need to. I'm going to need to spread these apart here and input them into their separate lines. So I'm going to give myself just a little bit more room here. All right, so fairly well exposed there. Now our next step will be let's go ahead and take off some of the actual wire. I'm going to use my wire stripper there. I'm going to find the right size. see we've exposed the copper there directly. Same for the green. And same on the white. 
Now it's actually this copper that's going to be inserted directly in there. And because it's a bunch of thin wires, it can have the tendency to spread all around. So what we're actually going to do is take a trip to the soldering iron and kind of cover those up um, so that they're one mass. So we'll see you over there.